New software developed at the University of Utah makes it easy to find meaning in any data set. The data you are looking at is a collection of nearly 3,500 responses to an exit poll during the November 2007 election in Salt Lake City, Utah. Around the circumference of the ring are three items on the ballot, who should be the next mayor, and two other issues, Referendum 1 and Proposition 1. Underneath each issue is a bar chart showing the percentages of how voters responded in each category. Now let's see how it works. Say we want to only look at a certain voter population, for example, those within a certain age group. We do this by dragging the attribute label age into the area outside the ring and choosing one of the values, for example, over 65. After we put the icon in the center of the ring, the percentages on the ring move to reflect the data of the voters who are over 65. We can further explore the data by dragging any of the other categories onto the canvas. We drag Internet Usage to the window and select option No Internet Access. Again, the graph updates itself to show how voters who are both over 65 and who do not have internet access voted. If we remove age from the center, then the chart changes to show only those voters who do not have internet access. We can add any of the categories to the ring to view any of the data collected in the exit poll. For example, if we want to see how people voted with different education levels, we simply drag education level onto the ring. We now see, of those people who do not have internet access, over half did not graduate from college. In fact, there's nothing in our program that is tied solely to election results. If we simply want to see personal information about the survey population, we can add things we are interested in to the circumference. If we choose to remove references to the mayor, referendum 1, and proposition 1, then we get an idea of the general nature of this tool. Here we see among non-internet users in Salt Lake City, the majority earn less than $40,000 a year, 41% are married, and only 24% graduated from college. Now, if we remove internet usage, then we see the percentages for everyone. We can add other things we are interested in to the center of the circle to look at the data for any information. We could have used traditional data analysis tools to do this, such as a spreadsheet or graphing software. But by using our program, we are able to find more information in less time and without special training.